right, I thought what I would do uh, this afternoon is to, uh, to show a little uh, leftover clip uh, from a little skiing trip that I took, a little road trip that I took uh, up to Camelback Mountain. Now this is a clip coming all the way down the mountain. I, uh, I had my, my iPhone 12 Pro Max inside of a, a small rig system. And I just tried to keep that thing as smooth as I could and uh, come all the way down the mountain. And uh, there I was kind of coming close to some trees for dramatic effect. It was a really, really gorgeous day up there. And um, it took me two tries. The first, the first week that I went there, uh, it was snowing really hard and they had to shut down the lift. Uh, because of uh, icing and supposedly wind. Uh, but uh, as you can see, it caked all the trees with this beautiful snow. And I got back up there and got to see it on really a perfect day in March. And I, I love skiing in March because the, the temperatures are not uh, as cold as February and January. And you get these days in the 30s and it's, and it's just perfect. Uh, there was no wind. I was able to get my drone up, get amazing shots with a drone. And there was incredible views. Uh, looking out all the way into New Hampshire, into Mount Washington. Uh, this is a beautiful area. Um, the Abnaki Indians uh, are known to be the, the major, uh, out that, of that five tribes, they were like the major Indian tribe that was in this area for thousands of years. And you can see why they made this their home. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. And uh, this, uh, this, this uh, ski resort just recently reopened after being shut for, for five years. They finally found um, some investment uh, company out of uh, company out of Boston that uh, invests in communities that need help and um, they built a new chairlift that's uh, a state-of-the-art seven million dollar lift high-speed lift that uh, whisk you up there uh, really fast and uh, just the views just the views are worth um, it's under a hundred dollars to ski there. Uh, I think I paid uh, 64 with the uh, pass, the electronic pass, and it's absolutely um, it's an absolutely beautiful uh, mountain. And and coming down, this is just a, this is these are uh, these are novice and intermediate slopes that I'm coming down here, but they have they have all sorts of terrain. They have glades. They have steep trails, expert trails, moguls, if that's your style. But I just like to, I just, I like just to keep it, keep it nice and easy and smooth, enjoying the ride down. And this is actually not even the entire way down. Uh, I just went down to the, the top of the, uh, the second chairlift that they have. They're planning on building more lifts. I think they're gonna have as many as six on this mountain. And uh, they have uh, some beautiful condominiums uh, that people can stay in trailside. Anyway, so this is uh, this is part of my uh, this is part of my series road trips uh, around Maine. I was recently awarded a grant from the Maine Arts Commission to um, to make to make more of these and tie them into uh, uh, cultural venues and. Um, focus on some of the uh, creative things that are going on in the state and just a wide range of things road trips here in Maine so now I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna put it together I'll put my uh, my dialogue here together with the clip and let's see if it works <laughs> 